Hi, my beautiful, amazing turtles around the world. How are you guys doing today? So I am a witch and a tarot reader. So book a reading with me because I'm doing personal readings on my Etsy, Instagram, and my email. And description will be down below. And also, we'll be doing channel messages from your tarot for any guidance within love. Mm -hmm. So let's see, speak your truth, only your truth, love, life, harmony, happiness. I ask my logic and ego side to step to my left. I ask for clear mind, clear clarity, clear choice of judgment, clear communications, a lot of clear and peaceful messages. From, if you feel there's any prayers of anyone's downfall, sit, or in intentions, black magic, all kinds of harm, negative and malicious energies, send it back to the center to thousands times full, 10,000. I also ask for divine and spiritual protection for those who are listening amongst us, though. From all their archangel guides, ancestors, and masters, for any communication, guidance, advice, or any messages that will need to be said. So blessed be, so mounted to be, and amen. Let's get started. Speak your truth. Love, life, harmony, and happiness. Guidance within love. Knight of Wands. Ooh. Passionate encounters and also a passionate outcome. So someone who's very passionate, also compassionate, but very like loving, like straightforward, striving to do what is best, even striving to do more within the connection, whether you are single or in a relationship. Someone is really wanting to strive and be head on within this connection. They believe that this is going to be like something more will turn into a relationship or a higher commitment. Page of Cups. Being patient. But they could be really like wanting to send you something on social media. Wanting to send you like any communications that will need to be said. Like any apologies or like wanting to have a new start. And really, they really are thinking about you. But it may be like, in a sense, small offers towards you along the way. I don't think that this is like a very fast. It's most like passionate offers. Ooh, passionate love offers. That's interesting. But this is small. Oh, I was just thinking of the Eight of Wands. Very, like, passionate, very straightforward, very moving at the speed of light. But they are really coming in with a very high, intense communication, like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation on how they're feeling, what they feel towards you. But a very strong, passionate start. Because they believe that your connection is a very strong, loving and a very giving sort of connection. Something more passionate. More like they want to do this with you. Queen of Cups. You guys could be very intuitive. Or they could be intuitive as well. But I got the message like very intuitive. Very compassionate. Someone who really will fall in their emotions. Go with the flow of things though. I'm getting the numbers 417 and 212. So 417 and 212. But I'm getting someone who really is going to be like, uh, oh, 888 eight, eight as well. But someone who's very giving and kind and loving within their own heart. They believe that this is a connection that's worth waiting for. Six of Cups. Soulmate, childhood, oh, childhood memories though. So you guys could have like a strong childhood, which had led to you to be like high school sweethearts. You guys are always there for each other throughout their childhood though. And really that grew into so much love, a bond that can never be broken. And they really do consider you as someone who will always be there for them. And like really... Wanting to reconnect, disconnection, wanting to go forward with what their heart is telling you. 
they really do love you because Queen of Wands though. Ooh, I'm getting like like a third party situation because I got like karmic partners. Now this could be good or bad karmic. It could be either or. Also take whatever resonates for this is a generalist reading and follow your intuition on what you want to hear. I want you like whatever resonates with you but like for some reason a karmic partner so some of you or it could be your partner or like your love interest have to deal with someone like for a long time like an ex-partner and i'm getting in a sense that they cut this person off in order to be with you in order to go forward within the connection though six of pentacles Wanting to be reliable, wanting to have this like stable connection in order to work upon their career and finances. I do like know that they really do want to work upon this, really want to be reliable, really want to like help you out in a way with any of your career and finances, but really wanting to be headstrong towards you. For they believe this outcome is a very like understanding and more of a grateful moment because they really do understand that you two were meant to be you guys are soulmates or twin flames though but you guys are lovers from within you guys do love each other you cherish each other you cherish the moments that you both have for each other you guys are really supporting each other divine and divine feminine and masculine Four of Cups. But sometimes the opportunity isn't really protecting itself. Still wait, like waiting for the right divine timing, waiting for the right moments to come forward and tell you how they feel, what passionate and what sort of like energies do they have for you. And they're going to keep practicing on this and they really are going to like try to like go forward with what their heart wants with you they want to keep practicing on what they want to say for you they are your divine masculine they oh aries energy they really want to have this commitment towards you a long-term commitment which will lead to happy ooh reconciliation reunion this is like a time where you guys are really going to be enjoying yourselves some of you could really like try to stand up for this, having these boundaries, setting like a boundary for yourself. Because you really want to like go for what your heart wants, but also focus on your career and finances as well. Something that will like be very headstrong and loving towards yourself. A very great understanding is coming towards you and towards them, clarity and an epiphany, very headstrong. Mercury retrograde is really hoping for something more to be financially and really finalized, be there in the moment. And it's coming right now. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a lovely and amazing day also. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. And may peace be amongst you amongst Mercury retrograde. Bye, guys. Peace out.